So we're all familiar with the typical process of KOL mapping. It first begins with identifying your desired KOLs. You can buy a list or you can build one and then add to it the metrics that are key to your marketplace. Then you identify their spheres of influence. So you map out their connections, you chart their referral pathways, and you segment them. That gives you a good focused group. And then once you engage and build your strategy out, you can make sure to amplify their messages. But we find out that most often this traditional method does not yield the kind of trial and adoption that we hope for or that we need. Why not? What's missing? One crucial thing. You see, prescribers are not persuaded by KOLs that are not like them. Simple, yet profound. They want KOLs that are like them. Like them in how they think. Like them in how they make choices. Like them in beliefs and attitudes. And like them in how they identify themselves and their roles as HCPs. Our job is to identify these aspects of their behavioral profile and then align the two together. If we understand the behavioral profile of the KOLs and correspondingly the behavioral profiles of the targets themselves, we'll know who is like who. Then all we need to do is to connect them together. And once we do, our targets will hear, see, and even feel that the KOLs are like them they'll naturally seek out their content on the different mediums and platforms that they post on. They will seek out their content and be open to their perspective. And that's what we want. Interested in understanding how we can apply this to your brand and your company? I'd be glad to walk you through it. Or I can send you a deck for you to review.